hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel in today's video as you guys saw in the intro i'm going to be showing you guys how i tint my brows so basically this is how i tint my brows for um people with really thin hair or sparse brow hairs so first off i start off by carving up my uh, carving out my brows i actually do this before i tint my brows i feel like this helps me to see structure and also because i have thin hairs and because not all of like my full brow hairs are grown i like to do this um in a way that when i'm doing my makeup it will be easy so i literally carve out my brows like i'll do when i'm doing my makeup and then um that's how i fill in my brows i mean that's how i tint my brows with that structure so all you guys are seeing me do right now is carve out my brows sort of like slightly i'm not actually like doing my brows doing my brows you know so all i did was carve it so that it gives me shape and like structure you know and then now i'm gonna take my um face shaving blade or brow blade and then i'm gonna trim my brows i always like to trim my brows when i'm doing this um tinting situation because i feel like it makes your brows look the best nice and clean you know you guys will see at the end um but i let my brows grow and then i trim my brows while i'm doing this process and it comes out looking really nice so i'm just going to trim my brows and make sure that it's nice and clean just so that um, I don't put the tint anywhere that it's not supposed to be, you know? Because when my brow is grown, obviously, I, that's not how it's going to be when I'm doing my makeup. So I'd like for the tint to look like, or look when I'm doing my makeup. Or, you know, give me... Basically, this whole thing I'm doing is to make my makeup, like, um, easy, you know? For people who are busy, people who have, like, busy lives, work to do and whatnot... Tinting your brows, I feel like, is the best thing to do for me. I do this for content week, for the weeks that I have, like, back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back content to film, especially, like, makeup videos, you know. This makes my, my makeup process very easy. If you're the type of person that hates to do your brows, you know, and uh, you just dread the process and how long it takes because you have thin brows and you have to work extra hours, <laughs> just to get your brows like done then i feel like tinting your brows is the way to go and um i'm gonna show you guys all about it in this video okay so keep watching and see how i do it okay it's nothing um scary nothing out of like your comfort zone if you're not a professional you can still do it so just watch the video okay With Charlie's Angels. Okay, so for the products that I'm using, um, this is actually a men's mustache um, color situation. This is actually a men's mustache color situation. Um, I got it from Dollar Tree. I get it from Dollar Tree. It is actually one of the best to tint my brows. It lasts a good... Um, it, so whenever I do this, it's able to last a good we can have okay so that's good in my in my opinion for something that you get for a dollar so um i just put some in the bowl that it comes in just a little and then i mix that up and then i'm gonna take my brow you know the brow brush situation that's what i'm gonna use i feel like this makes it easier for me to like do the hair like strokes and whatnot so now what i'm doing is i'm gonna start off by filling in the areas that i have little to no hairs that's the part that you want to fill in first because that's the part that has literally no hair. And that's the part that I feel like you want to load more tint. And in all honesty, this, um, what's it called? This brow, I mean, this men's uh, hair dye, I thought that it was going to be very strong because also because I got it from Dollar Tree, I thought it wasn't going to be as like quality. But guys, I am shook, okay? I'm stuck with this. If you've been watching my vlogs, you see that I literally stock up on this because that's what I use to tint my brows. And it's really good. So I just use that to fill in my brows. And then um, I take a cotton bag to just clean it up, you know, just so that it, do it doesn't go anywhere that it's not supposed to go. But also, another thing that I really like about this stuff is it says that it's permanent. But when you put it on, the more you shower, the more you do your skincare, the more it fades away. So 
you really have nothing to be scared of especially only i mean like except if you have like full brow hairs already then i'd say that maybe don't use like as much as somebody with thin brow hairs will use obviously but this stuff is really good and like i said the more you shower the more you do your skincare the more it fades away so all i'm doing is filling in my brows and as you guys can see i'm doing literal hair like strokes because i want it to look as natural as possible so um yeah because also because i have like thin brow heads or like literally no brow hairs i don't want it to look weird so i want it to look as natural as possible so that's what i'm doing and then now with the same cotton bud i'm cleaning up the front because um, obviously your natural brow has like a lighter shade in the front and then like a darker shade in the back so that's what you want to do you don't want to make the whole brow black black except if your natural hairs are like that um, but for what I know the natural hairs is like thin in the front and like lighter in the front and then darker in the back so also now I'm taking my spoolie and then just brushing the product through because like I said I am all about achieving like a really natural look so I wanted it to look as hair-like as possible. I didn't want it to look like it had just dyed my skin, you know. So I brushed the hairs through and make sure that it goes in the direction that I want them to go. And at the end of the day, this was looking so good. But I'll just leave it for you guys to see. So now I'm going to leave it on. I usually leave it on for like 20 to 25 minutes. And honestly, you can leave it on very long. I felt like I should have left it on even longer. Because when I wiped it and then later when I took my shower, it faded a lot more. I was like, oh, I should have left this on probably longer. But I, 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 do, I do this pretty much every week or every other week. So I love it. So now I'm just taking it off. I'm just using cotton and some water. You can use micellar water, whatever you're comfortable with. But in all honesty, just water takes it off. And um, another tip, which I basically already said, if you wipe it and you feel like it's a little too dark for you, just do your skincare. Just wash your face or like, you know, yeah, basically do your skincare. It's going to fade a lot more. And guys, see what it looks like. See how pretty that looks like see how pretty that looks like so if you're the type that has no time to do your brows i realized that my light in the back went off <laughs> but if you're the type that has no time to do your brows isn't this like the best thing to do all you need to do is like fill it in a little and you're good to go clean it up with your concealer you don't even need to fill it in sometimes if you're going for the really natural look you can just clean this up with your concealer and you're good to go so I'm so happy to have shared this with you guys. I would love for you guys to try it. I've been doing this. I just realized that I haven't shared it with you before. So there you go. This is what it's going to look like. And like I said, the more I shower, the more it's going to fade. And it hurts me so much that it actually fades. Because I wish my brows were was like this full, you know. Um, but guys, this is what it looks like. Comment down below. Let me know if you like it. Um, also, if you're going to try, please definitely try. You can use whatever men's mustache um, um, dye. It's not only the one that I got from Dollar Tree. I've actually tried one from CVS before. And it worked perfectly as well. So whatever one that you see you can use you know but um let me know if you like it give the video a thumbs up if you like it i'll show you a video of how it looks with makeup done and um let me know if you like it if you happen to try it please let me know also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that follow me on instagram across all social media platforms and i love you guys okay i'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys, Metro Hacks.